What? I'm just waiting for this to download. This trees are really pretty. I'm wearing a hat today. What's that? A hat. A crazy, funky, junky hat. Overslept. Hair and sightly. Trying to look like here and Knightley. We've been there. We've done that. We's right there. Your funky hat. Aggressive. What? What? Brian gave me a knife. How stupid of him. <laughs> Welcome back to Care Me Say. <laughs> In today's video, we are reading more fanfic. Hey. If you've seen any of our other fanfics, we've done Harry Potter and Supernatural. But today, we are doing Billy and Stu from the original Scream movie. Top tier. <coughs> and... <laughs> ecrucation. You just ecrucation, man. After okay, never mind. I don't know what it's after going. After a hearty meal and a large gulp of soda, Eli couldn't hold back a noisy erectation, causing his brother to giggle. <laughs> okay, but like... There's like this feeling I get when I eat a lot of food and I'm all like, this. but it's not a burp. And it just like feels like congested in my throat. Gross. But I understand what you're feeling. True Moo like partnered with Star Wars and came out with Blue Milk. Mm. Is it good? I like it. <laughs> I think it, only me and my mom like it. Like Brian what does it taste like? like? It. It's just like vanilla. So it's kind of like the vanilla breakfast essential. I've never had that one. Ugh. I had a breakfast essential. <laughs> breakfast essential. <laughs> I say it so often, you I just slur you slurred it. that whole entire <laughs> breakfast essential. <laughs> just, okay. <laughs> yeah, we need to get into the video. Yeah, you yeah, do I the intro. Told, you do the intro. I, oh, I already did, and then you burped. <laughs> so <laughs> I got down to the. Okay, we're doing Billy and Stu fanfic this time. As always, I'm going to be reading, and she's going to be acting. We just found this on Wattpad, as usual, and it's mm -hmm. titled, Even More Gay Shit. This is by Randy Enigmatic, just to give proper credits, because we didn't do that with the Supernatural one. Unless we make fun of you, then we can cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you haven't watched Scream, go watch that before you watch this, otherwise you may and There's no understand. point in watching this if you haven't seen Scream. Yeah, you gotta know who they are, man. Here we go. Stu woke up, like any normal ass day. They just can't capitalize his name. None oh of these goodness. paragraphs are capitalized. I mean, mm. I hate you. <laughs> he got ready for school. He got ready for school like every day. His parents hadn't even time to say bye to him. He sighed before heading out the door. Maybe so slow down. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Stu woke up like any uh. at, like <laughs> Stu woke up like any normal ass day. He got ready for school, and like every day, his parents hadn't even had time to say bye to him. So his parents are gone. <laughs> Probably not dead, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> they just went to work or some shit, I'm assuming. He sighed before heading out the door, meeting up with Billy, who was waiting for him. <laughs> Sydney and Tatum being in the backseat of Billy's car. We're all together. <laughs> hey, Bill, Sid, Tatum, what's up? He greeted the three waltz sitting in the passenger seat. They're waltz. <laughs> oh, no. W H. -I what? Waltz. Whilst? Whilst. <laughs> Don't make fun of the way I talk. <laughs> Are you stoned? No. <laughs> I'm a little stoned. I'm just wondering. <laughs> I just have a great personality, Shay. <laughs> Nothing much. Sid still had that underwire rule. Billy. Oh. <laughs> Billy rolled his eyes playfully. Oh, come on, Billy. You know my dad would kill me if we had sex. Sydney frowned. Stu laughed at this, but Tatum didn't. Tatum knew Stu liked <laughs> Billy. Tatum knew Stu liked Billy. Oh, this is where the twist comes in. And she Ooh. felt a little bad for the guy, really. I mean, who wouldn't? Oh, come on, Sydney. Ooh, listen up a bit. We're practically adults. Your dad's a buzzkill. Even Dewey isn't that overprotected of Tatum, Stu jokes sarcastically. You and Tate have had sex? Billy raised an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah, man, we haven't, Stu admitted. <laughs> what? Once they got to school, they all parted ways, but Billy pulled Stu aside. Hey, man. Hey, man! I've got something I gotta get off my chest. Billy started. Stu raised his eyebrows. 
What's up? He asked. Billy sighed. I don't actually like Sydney. I mean, I like her as a friend, but you know. Billy admitted. <gasps> Billy! Tell her then, bitch. Why are you dating her then? Stu asked. Oh god, it's uh, this will be hard to say. Billy rubbed the bridge of his nose. And uh, it's to, to try and distract myself from who I really like. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So, who do you really like? I could just see like <laughs> Matthew Lillard like, so, well, who is it then, bitch? Show me. <laughs> Do asked, mm -hmm. feeling his face blush. He had a chance. There was a chance Billy liked him. <sighs> just a chance, just a smidge. Just a smidgen. <laughs> Billy looked at Stu for a moment, seeing his face flush. Why is he blushing? He thought to himself before, sighing. Um, you. <gasps> Looking down at his feet. Oh, you. <laughs> you! <laughs> Stu's face somehow even got more red. Just wanting to hug Billy. Bro, Stu started. Bro! Being, being cut off by Billy saying, I know it's gross, we're both guys. Gross? <laughs> no, no, Bill, I feel this- Bill! <laughs> no, no, Bill, I feel the same way. I like you too, <laughs> Stu said, earning a surprise look from Billy. But you and Tatum, we're both gay. <laughs> we're both gay, bro! Stu laughed at himself for a bit, hugging Billy for a second. I like you more than just a friend, he said. <laughs> Billy reluctantly hugged Stu back. <laughs> reluctantly? <laughs> wow. Also, Sydney fucked Tatum, Stu mentioned. What? <laughs> that was it? That was it! That was funny. I mean, at the end, they just end, oh, they're lesbians too. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. What? So, it's called Christmas. Billy and Stu just graduated college and are living together, both being in their early mid twenties. They went to college? Apparently. They did not go to college. <laughs> <laughs> hey Bill, Stu girl walking up behind Billy and wrapping his arms around his waist. What's up? <laughs> Billy asked. Do you want to put the star in the tree? Stu asked smiling. Dude, you're the tall one though. Are you gonna pick Billy up and help him put the star on the tree? <laughs> I got you, Bill! Come on, Stuart, we're too old for this, Billy Stort. left. <laughs> Stuart. They'd made it a tradition in middle school that every Christmas Stu would help Billy put the star on the tree, since Billy was always just too short. I feel this. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh, come on, tradition is tradition, Stu whined. Billy si sighed. Fine. <laughs> he said, mostly immediately being picked up and put on Stu's shoulders. Stu walked over to the tree and handed Billy the star. And his shoulders? Yeah, like a child? Dude, yeah, dude, he's like on the ceiling like this right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, a little too tall, <laughs> Stu. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. Oh, shut up, Stu. We're not going to be able to do that forever, you know. Billy argued. Yes, we will. Even when we're both wrinkly old men, I'll still lift you up on my shoulders so we can have a star on when the tree. When we're old <laughs> and my kids think I'm a joke. Okay, it's on top tier. <laughs> um, Stu grinned. Yeah, no, Billy laughed, walking back into the kitchen to continue baking cookies. <gasps> cookies. I want cookies. I was going to bake some last night and then I just passed out. Anyway. Well, I want cookies baked by Billy's either of them. <laughs> either of them is fine. I'll take either. So, do you want to watch Krampus? <gasps> Black Christmas? Or yes! Or an actual Christmas movie, Stu asked. Uh, Krampus Looking is a Christmas movie. Movies. Krampus, obviously, Billy <laughs> said. Pulling the cookies out of the oven. <laughs> I'm in love with them. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Want me to make some hot cocoa, Stu grinned? Walking into the kitchen, Billy nodded. Don't touch the cookies, they're cooling, Billy warned. That's the best time to eat cookies, what are you talking about? <laughs> I know, I know, jeez, I'm not a kid anymore, Stu half said half-jokingly. Yet I still have to remind you to take off your binders before bed, Billy responded. Binders? I don't know, binder? I'm confused. Shush! Stu sh shushed. Shush! Putting shush. some milk on the stove to heat up. He's making hot chocolate with oh, milk. Like, He's oh, doing the fancy them good shit. Hot cocoa. <laughs> Not the fucking packets and water, man. That's, that's also good too. But <clears throat> once hot cocoa was done, Billy walked back from the kitchen and put all the cookies on a plate and brought it to the living room. You invited the rest of the group. You invited the rest of the group, right? Stu asked. <laughs> you invented the rest of the group. Right? <laughs> you invented. They're like Frankenstein. It's hard. <laughs> <coughs> you invited the rest of the group, right? Stu asked. Yeah, but Sid and Tatum canceled on us. Randy's still covered, though. Billy responded. I'm surprised the poor guy's still friends I with us. Randy. With how much I teased him in high school, Stu joked. I mean, 
he is dating your brother, so Billy shrugged. I'm confused. Who's dating who? Randy's dating Stu's brother. Everybody's gay. He's coming over too, right? Or did he get <coughs> caught up in one of his book things, Stu asked. He's coming over, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Hope he still has that mullet, or I might not be able to tell you two apart. Billy joked. Stu laughed, sitting on the couch, and then there was a knock <laughs> on the door. I get it, Billy said, walking over to the door and opening it. <laughs> Randy! Dan! Nice to see you guys again, he grinned. It's nice <clears> seeing <throat> you too, considering we haven't talked since college, Randy joked. I thought they were in college. They just graduated college. I'm confuzzled! <laughs> yeah, I'm actually surprised I never came to visit. Guess I've just been really busy, Dan shrugged. I can tell. I almost think it's stew in the paper whenever I see you, Billy joked. I'm not famous or anything. Jeez, Dan laughed. Time skip. After Randy and Daniel <laughs> left and Stu and Billy were all settled down and ready for bed, I'm tired, Stu whined. Then let's just go to sleep, you big baby. Billy smiled and said, said smiled and laid down next to Stu. <coughs> Stu immediately bear hugged him, loosened his grip as a sign he'd fallen asleep. Billy just sighed and laid there. He did enjoy cuddling to Stu, but sometimes he was a bit dramatic. Billy eventually fell asleep. <laughs> and all was well at the end. All was well. <laughs> Angsty gay shit. Canon timeline. Angst. I'm ready. Everything had gone perfectly to plan. Billy and Stu explained their plan, killed Sydney, stabbed each other, and made it look like Mr. Prescott had done it. Woo! Okay, okay, Stu, go call the police. I mean, no, that's Billy the bad said. ending. Grin evilly sits. Okay, okay, Stu, go call the police, Billy said, grinning evilly down at the lifeless body of Sydney Prescott. When he got no response from his partner, Stu, he called out, <clears throat> he turned around. Stu? Billy? Stu? Stu replied weakly, I, I think I'm dying here, man. <laughs> I think I'm dying here, man. <clears throat> Stu was slumped over the foyer chair, holding his wound. You cut me deep. Those words were <laughs> cut me words deep, ring man. through Billy's head like warning bells. He immediately went from demanding to sweet. It's okay, baby. We're going to get the cops over here. You'll be okay. He reassured Stu. <gasps> Billy immediately picked up the phone and dialed 911. Ring, ring. You know how to dial 911? Help, we're at this address. The Prescotts went mad. Please, there's dead people everywhere and my friend is hurt real bad. Billy frantically said into the phone. That's sus. Billy, I'm tired. Can I just take a quick nap, please? Stu asked. <laughs> no, 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 Stu, you need to stay awake. I know you're tired, but you can't fall asleep on me. Please, don't die on me, Stu. I have no control over this. I forgot where my wound was. <laughs> Billy said, holding Stu's face with one of his hands. Just one. Minute. Just one. <laughs> We're on our way, sir. Billy could hear the officer say on the other line. Billy Stu said his eyelids felt heavy and sleep sounded nice, but he knew he couldn't. <laughs> Billy, please, please don't let me die. I'm too young, Billy. Stu cried. I don't want to die here. For I'm too I want to live. I want to live happily ever after. He said. <laughs> He's so dramatic. A few minutes later, the emergency. Wait. Wee 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 wee. Oh, I, I missed those paragraphs. Let's go oh. back. <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna be okay, Billy. You're reassured, Stu. I love you, Stu said. He knew he wouldn't make it at this point. His face had gone pale from blood loss. His eyes felt heavy. I love you, Stu. Stuart Elliot Macker. I love you so fucking much. Elliot? Yep. Alright. <laughs> Stu smiled, slowly closing his eyes. No, Stu, don't you dare fucking. <clears throat> what? The, the, Stu, the don't you fucking dare. Stu, please. <laughs> please, no. R.I.P. A few minutes later, the emergency service arrived. Wee, 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 wee. Billy was taken away and treated for his wounds. Anytime a body bag was brought out, he broke down, hoping one of those would be a stretcher and Stu would be okay. By the time the last body bag was brought out, Billy read the label. It read Stort <gasps> Elliot Mocker. Billy broke down his tears in tears. He fell to his knees. Please, anyone, <laughs> but... Anyone but Stu take me instead. His crying would be heard by almost everyone at the scene that day. To this day, he visits the grave of Stuart Elliot Mocker every day, every single day. He cries. To this day, he still goes down there. It's been 25 years. The loss of Stuart Mocker makes a grown man cry. I don't like this one. <laughs> Anyone but Stu. Stuart Elliot Mocker. 